Hey, video. Driving the Segway Mini Bot. Low powered wheelchair. Towards landing. Little left, little right. The other side of the road. No worries. A walking path here. Real world test going down a 20 degree grade incline and climbing back up. So, we make it to beautiful little landing up here. You can see it goes down there a bit, so that's where we're heading. nice and slow and we're using the power braking mode of the Segway to slow us down so we're going down at a very controllable pace very 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 controllable pace as you can see no worries very good control the regenerative braking is utilized here so it's actually probably charging the batteries as we're going down this incline because I'm using the reverse braking mode to slow it down to a crawl. Now ordinarily in a wheelchair I wouldn't want to do this 20 degree grade for any length of time but this is a pretty long run. Oh, it is a beautiful day on the lake. Look at this view. It's amazing. Be able to come down here, spend a little time. Instead of having to huff it all the way up there. Try the nine bot assist. No worries. It's encountering it like it wasn't even there. Matter of fact, it's speeding up a little bit too much, even. And this is about a 20 degree grade, which is more than this thing theoretically should be rated for, but doing it and the controls easy even a more speeding going up the hill that's pretty cool there we are king of the hill no worries Getting back. Now it does have a little quirkiness to it. Like if it encounters too much of a bump, it wants to really slow down and then re-equalize, which is 
a quirk that I haven't quite sorted out yet. If you if you ram it forward, she finds the fight back. So it's a delicate touch on the throttle pushing forward on this. Instead of leaning your body, remember you're using your arm force. So it doesn't take much with this long of a lever arm to do it. But if you give her the beans too much, she'll protest and fight back to keep its balance and not overspeed itself. So it takes discerned effort to push this thing to go to this speed. It's happier at really, really slow, slow speeds, I think. So in an indoor functionality, it takes next to no force at all to make this thing go. But at higher speeds, when you allow it to build up momentum, it's automatically gonna fight you and not let you go faster than what you've said you want it to do. Like that. So right there, it's low speed, very minimal, nominal effort. But she'll wake you up if you perturb her too fast or too violently. Which is good. It keeps you honest not to let yourself get out of control. The front caster has become a little bit wobbly past five or six miles an hour, so I've found that keeping it below that speed is wise. It's a two horsepower, it's capable of rifling you. I've done it on three wheels at almost nine miles an hour, and it is quite a fast wheelchair, but not safe. Pretty cool, no worries. Thanks for watching.